Yo, what is going on guys? Cool fan Kevin here again back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cool thumbnail for Clash Royale or this could apply for any mobile game I guess but I've gotten comments that said that people want to know how to make my thumbnails so I am going to show you guys a simple little tutorial so first off you want to have Photoshop I will leave a link in the description for it. I do have Photoshop Portable. It's basically just a program that you download, you don't even install it, it just opens. And then it asks you for your language and you should be good. I'll put a link to that so you guys can get that. First you have that. So next step we are going to have to take a screenshot of the moment that you want to put in your thumbnail. So basically you just go to the Clash Royale app get a replay I'm just gonna use my most recent one and I'm gonna do like a rage spell type if I was doing like a rage spell video but I'm not, I'm not really doing one I'm just gonna do it for the example for the video so you watch it and then you just find a moment where that you want for your uh, thumbnail okay this is a better thumbnail You see how it's chaotic? So this this is a really good thumbnail shot right here. So basically all you do is take a screenshot. Okay, you got it on the first try. And now that you have a screenshot, you have to find a way how to get the image on. You can upload it either to Google Drive or Dropbox or any website or any app that uploads like that. I, do, I use Google Drive and then I just download it from there. So that's the next step. Get your get your picture on your computer. So now that you have your screenshot on your computer and you have Photoshop on your computer as well, you're going to open up Photoshop. So once you have your image on your computer, make sure to go to Photoshop. I made a, a folder specifically for this tutorial, so here's the picture. Open up the picture. You want to select the crop tool on the left side, which is this one right here. And crop it to whatever part you want in your thumbnail. So. I just want this part right here, so I'm going to crop, maybe crop the crowns as well. Okay, so basically just that part. So you crop it, and then you go to image, image size, then you change it to 1280 by 720. And since we are reducting, we're going to put best reduction. And then all you have to do is zoom in, and there goes your basic thumbnail so now what we're gonna add is when you're making a clash royale thumbnail a lot of people use the card or whatever thing you're gonna be showing in your video so for this video I'm gonna be showing off the rage spell so I'm going to have to get a rage card so all you gotta do is go to the internet whatever browser you use then look up whatever card you're gonna use. So let's say, so for now I'm gonna use a rage card. So you look up rage card, clash, royale, PNG. Make sure to add the PNG at the end. Go to images, and it should be the for one of the first ones. When you click it, make sure it has these little lines where my mouse is around the card, because that means that it is transparent, so it, nothing will show up on your picture. So you just save image, Save it to your, your folder that you made for your thumbnail. And now that you have that, you open up the folder, put the rage card. And how I'm dragging it, you have to use the drag tool, which is the first one right here at the very top left. Drag it onto your main picture. Then you do edit 
free transform and with this you can transform your picture into whatever size you want it to so I think I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and then you could make it big or small it doesn't matter it's whatever you think will catch somebody's eye and that's really what we're trying to do with these thumbnails is catch people's eyes so you won't so they'll click your video that's basically what a thumbnail is for so just set it up in a way that you think that will look best. Once you have your card set up, you wanna add some text to your thumbnail. So, click the text tool. The text that I use that I think is really good for thumbnails is gonna be Comics Loud. I will leave a link in the description to download that as well. This is a really good text for thumbnails. I'll show you guys right now. Make sure your cap caps lock is on though, cause if it's not, it's gonna change fonts so once you have it installed to your computer you're going to select that text put your caps lock on and what text should I use and I'm just gonna name it like rage spell OP or something like that so rage spell and then usually what I do is make two texts so I can put one on the bottom and I can transform the other one change the color and stuff so rage spell OP so you select the rage spell. Look, I am going to make it purple. So like this type of purple right here. Or I can make it a little light purple. Now let's make it like that, like a little dark purple. Like that. Okay. Get the right colors. And then you are going to go into your effects and the really good ones to use is stroke just leave it at three or you can even you can mess with it have whatever you want basically I uh, usually use three keep it outside and I always you always drop a shadow because that's gonna give it that effect and if you want to make it a little more like 3d you can use this bevel Click the bevel and then put the distance a little. No, actually, I don't know. Click the bevel and then change the depth. I usually just do it a little bit like that just to give it that little effect, that little 3D effect. And all you gotta do now is just copy layer, right click on the rage spell text, copy layer. Click the OP one and paste it and I should copy it to that one. So you are, so now you, all you have to do is free transform the rage spell and then you can just change it to whatever you want. I think I'm going to put my text over here though because I don't want to cover that tower up. So you can transform your text whatever size you want to. I'm going to put that right there. And you can put the text anywhere on the screen that you think looks better. Like I said, we, you are trying to make your thumbnail look good so someone clicks on it. That is the main goal of making a thumbnail is catching the viewer's attention. So I want to put the rage on top of the OP. I usually do it like this just to give it that little overlap effect. I like how that looks. So that is basically all it is guys it isn't hard i you i screenshot it on my phone because i think that is the best quality and that's probably the easiest to be honest so this isn't hard at all guys you guys can make good thumbnails there is more stuff you can add to it like you can add a arrow trying to because a lot of youtubers use arrows nowadays to catch people's attention so you do just do arrow oh no, no no don't do just do arrow png and all these arrows should pop up i am going to use you can use this one this is optional though i i, I don't think i'd use it or well, maybe i would it depends on what i'm trying to show but you could just use this if for an extra if you feel like your thumbnail needs more, you can add this arrow. So basically just add the arrow to what you're trying to point out. And if it and if it's really big, all you have to do is edit, retransform, 
and then just find the edge and pull it back. Yeah, this is a really big picture, so we do have to edit it down a lot. So this is what I would do right here. I would just place that arrow right there. And move the card a little bit down, like there, so. Make the arrow a little bigger, point it up a bit. So now that you have your thumbnail done, you do need to go to file, save as, change it to JPEG. I use JPEG, you probably use PNG as well, but I use JPEG. And then click save. I already saved this, so it says already exists. We want to place it, yeah, just put okay. Plugin is currently open, oh, okay. So you do change it. I'm going to name it. What should I name it? Clash Rage. And then just click save. Make sure this is all the way up. So quality 12 maximum progressive scans three. Click OK. So now your picture thumbnail so your thumbnail should be in your folder ready to upload to YouTube. So there goes your thumbnail guys. It isn't hard. You can have a really good thumbnail, catch people's attention, build a better audience and get subscribers, which is basically what you want. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And thanks for watching. Peace.